Hello everyone, I am Russell Molina. Hi everyone, my name is Ian Santa Maria. I am the author and co-creator of Mr. Tino. I am the co-creator and artist of the comic book Mr. Tino. Mr. Tino has a very simple premise. What would you do if you suddenly get superpowers on your 66th birthday? Would you try and stop crime or would you rather stay at home and take care of a wife who struggles with Alzheimer's? Or would you even hit a criminal who's only a child? So these are the things he struggles with. And he takes us on a wonderful journey of discovery where everything suddenly is new, new powers, new way of looking at things, new challenges, new encounters, and new way of looking at himself also, because he sort of tries to answer so many questions, including the ultimate question, which is, what is now my life's purpose? When we were developing the character for Mr. Tino, uh, Ian Santa Maria, my uh, co-creator and uh, partner for this book, we wanted a character who is really relatable, someone very familiar like your father or your, your grandfather or your uncle, someone you've already met, someone who you know from the neighborhood. We wanted someone who would represent us well, who knows our struggles, who knows um, where we came from, and um, someone who would be a good addition to the already rich superhero world. Russell Molina, the author and co-creator of the book, threw this idea at me while I was doing another comic book which weighed heavily on the fantasy aspect with giants and monsters and epic battles. Uh, now having an, an old man in his 60s who struggles with simple everyday life, who's given a gift, which can easily be construed as a curse, that is set up against the backdrop of Old Manila was a very exciting idea for me. It was fresh yet uh, familiar and, uh, and really got my imagination going. So uh, I immediately jumped on this opportunity to draw and uh, tell a story depicting normal everyday life that would surely resonate with anyone and, and, and everyone uh, of any age. The protagonist himself, Mr. Tino, um, clearly represents an older demographic who, who's endowed with superpowers and this is a teenage dream who didn't want that as a kid. But, uh, those collision of ideas uh, attracted a lot of comedic as well as dramatic situations which can, you know, which anyone can easily relate to, I think. And we created Mr. Tino because we also wanted to honor our elders. We wanted to honor our senior citizens and to tell them, um, even if you're 66, even if you don't have super uh, strength, you are our heroes. You have given us so much, and this is our way through the story of honoring you and telling you, you know, it's not too late. You can still have superpowers, who knows? I'd like to say that it can appeal to a wide audience, not just because um, of what seems to be a simple storyline, but it also has the drama, the action, comedy, and you know, pepper that with a little bit of mystery and the paranormal. I think uh, uh, that's a, a good recipe for something that can be entertaining. Russell has written a story that not only gives you retrospects of youthful emotionalism but also a sense of looking forward to what can happen to you as you reach the age of seniority. Uh, I had so much fun illustrating uh, Russell's words and uh, I do hope that that resonates with the readers as well. And I do hope that this not only entertains them but gives them a sense of perspective to how they want to go about everyday life because uh, I think good stories always, always make us think about how we want to live our own. We do hope you pick up the book. Inside the pages, we hope you find someone very familiar 
And uh, Mr. Tino will hopefully make you smile, make you laugh, make you cry, make you dream once again, and make you realize that all this time you really had superhero powers and you have the capacity in you to change the world. So thank you and uh, Mr. Tino salutes you. Bye.